whenever you want, so you can uh, count down. Okay. Uh, I will go... Well, I'll just hit start. Your timer starts, like, when the boat lands or whenever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Let's go ahead right now. Okay. It started. So I guess this is the start of the rare block. And by block, I mean two games. Uh, so I'm a Super Cobra boat. That's the official name. And there's a couple things you're probably going to notice pretty quickly about this game. And okay, the first one is, why am I using the water when I can just fly anywhere? The answer to that is nothing. There is no reason. I mean, that's quite the shame, but you know. What can you do? Uh, the other one is... I don't remember the other one. Oh, that's Jim. All right, so I have these. I have these. Uh, here are the pods. You have to get the important ones are fire and speed. Uh, speed is pretty self-explanatory because it's a speed run. Uh, fire. Basically, there's only one good weapon in the game. It's not that one. This is the one. You can tell. You can see why it might be a million times better than anything else. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not just talking to no one or that it's not all broken. Are we good here? Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. Yeah, doing good. Because that'd be funny if I was just yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I was just talking to myself for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that'd you were quite, just yeah. giving your own commentary, but I can uh, hang around with you if you want. Yeah, uh, that's okay. yeah I don't have anything planned. That's, okay. <laughs> that's basically all I have to do for. Okay. I missed that pot. Oh, there. Alright, so I'm gonna... If you have any questions, like, go ahead. But no. Why did you kill yourself? The nice thing about this game is that it, it explains, like, exactly what you have to do at the start of each level, so... Here I have to move mine from one rectangle to another one. Which is, uh... You know, it can be very important, you know, when you're a Cobra powerboat. So, the important thing is to, like... I didn't do it. The important thing in this game is to try to die at the end of every stage, just like Battletoad. But I'm 0 for 2 so far. This is quite a drag. So, the thing, the thing about, like, a lot of these stages is that, like, it can go smoothly or it can go really, really bad based on RNG and other things like that. The most random thing is definitely the bullets. Like, they'll do, like, whatever they want. Sometimes they'll shoot none of them. Sometimes they'll shoot, like, four bullets in, like, four frames. And they're completely undodgeable. It's great. How many hits can you take again? Uh, the damage is not the issue. Okay. I probably won't ever die unless it's on purpose. But the issue is that it slows you down a bit. And then the pattern for like the logs or the whirlpools will change if I'm like too far behind. That's pretty annoying. And here's the bonus stage. Yeah, it, it very it definitely is. Bonus stages are fun because you can like spin around and shoot to the music. Except I'm not doing that because I can't hear the music very well. Bad planning. So if I had shot them all, I would sort of float over and get that one up. But. I didn't, because I didn't feel like it. So this, the guard the people ones, basically I just wait a minute and I have to, I guess, I'm trying to make sure the people drown and that the Coast Guard doesn't save them. That's, I'm pretty sure that's how this works. Uh, like, this, these stages are awful, like, in speedrunning, because you can definitely lose them. It can definitely happen. There's like no safe way to do them. What a lot of people do is they'll take one and then drive it in a circle. But I mean, you can still get hit by a missile and with bad luck, then you'll just lose. And it's also bad for a speedrun because you can't speed it up at all. And it's boring. Yeah, just have to wait and... Uh... A lot of people have... Yeah. A lot of people have tons of trouble with these levels. That's mostly because they don't have the right weapon. If you have a bad, oh, uh, if you have a bad weapon, then you will not win. 
And I screwed up again, I didn't die. One health. So here's the waterfall one. Usually, when you do this the first time, you'll die a thousand times. There's a safe way to do it at the start where, uh... You just wait, like, a quarter of a second, then go. Then just hold the accelerator. You don't even have to turn at all, and then you'll jump every single waterfall. But I don't do that because it wastes, like, a quarter of a second. We call that a non-marathon strat. So by the end of this level, I want to have a force, so I have to get three more pods, two more now. At the bottom, the power-ups are sort of like Gradius. That's it's basically just stolen from that. Each one pod will move the flashing one to the right. And I'll, I'll get missiles later, but they're not super important yet. They're only important in boss fights. If I could, if I had the luxury to get them, I would definitely do it. But I really don't, because the force saves a lot more time. And if you go left in that junction, then you take the much, much harder route. You don't, you don't want to do that. Does it save time? Take no. the harder route? No? It oh. is slower and it's way hard. I'll, I'll explain. I'll explain what happens when you take that route after stage 12. Okay. So this boy is super random. When he charges at me, or he sticks his claw out, like, I can't hit him, because he blocks it. In my uh, record time, I had a 50 here, which is like... Or I, I had a 49, and that was... It looks... Every fight looks terrible. Like, that fight was also pretty bad, but... They all look terrible. Even the good ones look terrible. Pretty funny. If you have missiles there, you can save a bit of time, but... I, I, you have to get really lucky with random pods. See, I'm gonna skip shooting those other things so I don't get the one up, but I wanna shoot all these targets because I can get a lot of points. Points are really important. Because then you'll be on the high score at the end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's important. It definitely is. Get the best time, man. It's, it's, it's all about the points. Absolutely. So this stage is pretty notorious for like having a bunch of icicles in it that kill you. Because, well, okay, that was very clever of me, right? Oh, <laughs> icicles. Anyway, moving on. This is why I use the force because this part is sadistic. Probably take like 20 seconds. Now, each airplane that flies along, that means one less icicle can spawn, so... Sometimes there'll be two or three, or there's just one there, but it didn't really... ...wind up affecting it too much. So if I had taken that left turn back there at stage 9, there would be another one of those stages later on, and it would be harder. Another icicle stage. You don't want to do that one, because the icicles move when they pop up. Yeah, I noticed. Mm -hmm. But they move, like, sideways. Alright, so... Disposal of Mines gets a lot harder. So now there's two boats. Sometimes they'll get... There's a stupid island in the middle, which they'll get stuck on. Sometimes they'll collide with each other, which means they'll, like... They'll, like, slow down at the start, then they'll be accelerating way faster by the time they reach you. It's very hard to predict. But I got... That went, like, very smoothly. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that was a good stage. Good stage. Yeah, that was, that was great. Everything has been going really good, except maybe the crab. But honestly, as long as I don't game over on a guard the people, I'm basically fine with whatever happens. Yeah, why is that? Because Not game over. Particular stage? Because it would take, because I'd have to redo, if you, if you lose all the people, you have to restart the whole stage, and it takes like, another minute and a half. Yeah, I see. Basically, I can only save like, maybe... Well, like, compared to my record time, I really can't save much time on any stages at all. Maybe like a couple sections on, seconds on a few of them. 
So, compared to that, having to do like another 80 second stage, it's... Yeah, that's, that's not doable. Oh, it is yeah. doable, but uh, try to skip it or reset, probably. <laughs> absolutely. Why do I say absolutely so much? I don't say absolutely, usually. Maybe it's my new catchphrase. Yeah, you just totally agree with me every time, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because you're always right. Oh, yeah. I'm always right. Good job, man. Or maybe it's because so, it's uh, kind of... Here, here I'm gonna... Sorry, go ahead. Go I'm ahead. gonna get the... I've been getting two missile power-ups, and then just a force, and then there's nothing else to do. They give you another pods level, but there's way too many pods. Uh, if I upgrade the missiles again, they get homing missiles, which are terrible. They're like, they're weaker and... Well, usually you only kind of have two on the screen, but like... I don't even know why they're worse, they just... You do less damage to bosses. I think they come out slower or something. Yep. Oh, I died. Oh, oh no. Well, at, le at least it's not a saving game uh, level. No, I didn't really. If you die within the last few seconds during the animation and then the time runs out, you'll just turn back into a boat. You won't even lose a life. Uh, yeah, I noticed, yeah. <laughs> Pretty great. So, this is... This one is usually more consistent, because everything's in a plus shape. This whole level is a terrible idea by the programmers, because it just, like, lags, and there's graphical... If I stay in the middle, there's way too many sprites. Everything just lags. Like, there's these waves showing up, and then there's eight people, there's boats. It's just, it's just like a fiasco if you stay in the middle. I'm really hoping that something funny happened here, but it looks like it might not. Oh, uh, well, there's a little bit. Come on. I think we might, uh... How, how did that happen? Okay, now I'm scared. Shit. This is bad. I'm to die. Okay, so if I ran into the wall and die, they can't steal the they can't steal the person that I was holding on to. So that's sort of a safeguard. Ah, uh, okay. If they if they hit with a missile, then uh, one sec, matching time. All right, that was good. If you do that too slow, something funny happens. I sort of wish it had happened. Anyway, if the UFO hits you with a missile, then the boats can seal the guy while you're exploding. So that was dicey, but... That was okay. Yeah. As long as I didn't, game over. Everything else should just be fine, unless, like... Oh man, I don't even want to think what, what, what could happen. But now we're going for speed. No more fear. No points? Uh. I got a lot of points. I have 840,000 points. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Does it stops at 9999 or does it just... Where? Well, you'll see. Okay. Or maybe you won't. There, I got 10,000 because I jumped the gap. The numbers look like... It's they do in Battletoads. Yeah, kinda. Oh, I remember now. People say, hey, it's RC Prom with boats. Because it is. Alright. But you could have a remote controlled boat. Why not? It would be awesome. I would use it. Yeah. If I could shoot, though. So. Otherwise, uh... I forgot to mention, we're in like a. There's cactuses everywhere, and it's gray. So I don't know what kind of a climate this is. I don't know why there are cactuses, like, next to a river. That's very weird. Also, this is the exact same stage as, uh, 14. 
the map is the exact same. It's yeah. the exact same thing. Except there are missile turrets on the sides, but they can never hit you. Because they shoot it, like, way after you're past them. It's crazy, I tell you. So this is what we get instead of a second ice pull stage. This one, they only give you 50 seconds. It's quite, it's quite rough. If you like die here at all, you're in big trouble. That was the wrong pattern. Uh -oh. oh geez, everything about this is wrong. The planes didn't fly with me, so they didn't cancel anything out. Okay, barely got through that. I mean, not. I still had lots of time to finish it, but I didn't want to die. That would be just as bad as not having points. Alright, this is like, this is the hardest level in the game for speedrunning and for normal play. Because there's a freaking whirlpool. I can't see it until I'm already there. Like, why? If you do everything, like, just smoothly, then, like, it will be where I expect it to be, but that never, ever happened. Also, both the boats move faster. And they're colliding with each other and getting stuck on the middle island, which is... There, one got stuck and one's over here, so this is like... <laughs> there, we got the stylish finish. I wanted to get that at least once. That was actually great, even though I was complaining the entire time. As long as, like, they don't steal the mine, I'm fine. Yeah, that's true. Here's a harder waterfall pump. You play this and you're like, finally, I got to the waterfall level. Oh, it'll take you like five lives to get through it. Surprise, you'll probably only have like two. Then <laughs> here's everyone's favorite boss. So, this guy, if you shoot him at all, then he will shoot you with a shot that kills you instantly and fills his health up. To 100%. So, I use force, but what you're supposed to do is just sit there and not shoot him. And then his health slowly drains. Okay. And then here's the shark. He gave me bad luck. Usually, from my actual attempts, like, if he didn't spawn right in the right place, I'd have to reset. And he only did it, like, 20% of the time. Uh, looks like it'll be one more. There's basically good fights and bad fights with him. This is a bad one. I tried to get the double KO. Uh, time. Time? Time is done. Time is done. Yeah. Except technically I can shoot here one more time for a thousand points. Got it. <laughs> Eighteen. Not that it was a trick. I Ah, one second above. Oh, really? 18 was my goal. Did you hit time slow or something? Because uh, when I you said time, it was three. like like a second late, maybe. So it will be like probably 18. As you. Expect. All right, good, good enough. Good yeah, enough. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah. Here's the good old rare guys, the stampers. It was a pretty good throw. Yeah, this I this mean, game uh, I really I really like. So what was that? Oh, it was the a really security good... guards. Are, by the way. Yeah, but it was a really good run. I mean, uh, are there any mistakes? So. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. And thank you. So good job, man. And for that run, we are we are rewarded with eighth place. No, no place. <laughs> no place. Oh, I'm not even on the leaderboard because because my score rolled over. I forgot to reset the game, dang. Oh well. well. Well, that's Cobra Triangle. Didn't we have fun? Well, I had fun. Kinda reminded me of uh, Eliminated Boat Duel a little bit. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I will let you guys move on. Jump off here. Okay, And that's thanks cool. for having me in. 
happening on this thing. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, see you guys later. Yeah, see you guys. See you later, man. So. Is up.